In this video, we're talking about one of the fundamental properties of algebra, which is called the transitive property. And the transitive property tells us that when we have one value equal to another value, so for example, if we know that A is equal to B, A and B have the same value, and then we're also told that B is equal to C, B and C have the same value. If we know that both of those things are true, then we know that A must be equal to C. And this should make sense to us because both of these values, A and C, are equal to B. We said that A was equal to B, and we said that C was equal to B. So if they both equal B, then they're gonna equal each other. And if you wanna put in a real number to help you with this, if we said that B was equal to two, so we said A is equal to two, and we said C is equal to two, two equals C, if we replace B, with two, a is equal to two and c is equal to two. In other words, a and c are equal to each other, they're both equal to two. So the transitive property tells us that this is true given these two equations. And we can do this with more complicated variables also. If we know that mn is equal to e and that e is equal to x, then we know that mn is equal to x. So it doesn't matter what this value is or what this value is, as long as we know that both values are equal to the same thing, then we know that they're equal to each other. And same thing over here, this is what we talked about in the first example. We know k is equal to two, and we know that two is equal to l, or l is equal to two, so we know that k is equal to l. 